Again, lesson with story. Entitled, Discipline of Simplicity for Equanimity Success. Glossary. Acharya, an esteemed Jain Muni who leads and guides Jain ascetics. Bhagawan an epithet within India religions used to denote figures of religious worship, Lord. Diksha, initiation into monkhood. Husk, the dry, scaly, protective casing of the seeds of cereal grains. G, respect, reverence indicator. Kamandalu, an oblong water pot made of a dry gourd or coconut shell with a handle and spout used for cleansing. Muni, Jane Monk. Pinchi, a whisk broom made of shed peacock feathers used to gently clear spaces before sitting or lying to avoid harming little creatures. Standpoint, point of view, position, opinion, perspective, qualified assertion. List of characters. Narrator, voice. Narrator, whisper. Mooney G. Teacher. Mooney G. Mooney G. Scholar. The lesson begins. As our lesson begins, we see a Jane Mooney G. teacher who has just finished writing. Looking closely, we see he has written a script for a YouTube lesson presentation. The script title indicates the subject will be Discipline of Simplicity for Equanimity Success. We are viewing Mooney G. teacher's presentation from the perspective of the camera. He is about to commence recording. Mooney G. Teacher begins. Dear ones, Jainism is a religion that is both simple and complex. It is simple in its purpose, purify and liberate soul from its association with matter. It is complex in its exposition and explanation of reality that provides the knowledge verifying the purpose. Reality is complex. Naturally, the explanation knowledge will be complex. As soul liberation is based on reality, the knowledge validating the purpose will be complex. The complex supports the truth of the simple, yet the complexity of the knowledge can appear abstract, challenging to understand, disquieting, which consequently discourages a commitment and pursuit of the purpose. For instance, unaccountabad knowledge and explanation of the nature of reality is complex. How opposites are and must be a necessary part of something to exist. The threefold trinamic nature of the things of which reality is comprised, one of which is soul. Discouragement need not be. While it is beneficial to understand the validating knowledge, an aspirant enthusiastic about the purpose, can focus on the purpose and make great soul purification progress, as this story 
illustrates. Hey, Bhagawan, this Muniji teacher is indeed progressive. He is recounting the story in a PowerPoint presentation. He is starting the first slide. There was a Jain Muni whose attitude was that of simplicity. His experience taught that simplicity favored mental peacefulness, emotional calmness, and subtle, sustained contentment and happiness. Muniji so recognized the benefit and importance of simplicity that it became a discipline. Discipline Self-control, self-discipline, controlled behavior, self-restraint, orderliness. On one occasion, he attended a lecture given by a Jain Muniji scholar. The scholar outlined in great detail the Jain understanding of soul with its threefold trinamic nature of permanence, change, and permanence and change. How embodied soul is pure, impure, and pure and impure simultaneously. While listening to the insightful knowledge, Muniji was much appreciative, yet somewhat overwhelmed by the abstract complexity. He was having difficulty visualizing soul in what appeared to be its contradictory threefold nature. When the lecture was finished, the Muniji continued with his solitary wandering. As he wandered, he realized his peace of mind had changed to a questioning, disquieting concern. He thought, This knowledge conveyed by the scholar must be important for soul purification, or it would not have been presented. Yet I cannot fully visualize soul in this complex way. Does this mean my soul purification progress toward liberation is in jeopardy? This is causing disturbance of my contentment and calmness. While immersed in these thoughts, Muniji passed by a village where he observed a village woman winnowing wheat. Winnowing is a process by which husk is separated from grain. In its simplest form, it involves throwing the grain mixture into the air so that the wind blows away the lighter husk, called chaff, while the heavier grains fall back down for recovery. Muniji's mind was attracted to the winnowing procedure. She was separating the husk from the kernel, separating the outer covering from the inner essence. Then his faculty of intuition revealed to his consciousness the meaning of winnowing for soul purification. The husk became the body, the kernel became the soul. Cleaning the wheat became purifying the soul. The simple winnowing and cleaning procedure became the simple procedure of meditating and purifying soul. Instantly, his peacefulness was restored. He again realized the simplicity of Jain purpose separate outer covering from soul essence, separate matter body from soul by the cleaning process of meditation. He recalled the simple responses of Lord Mahavira to Gautam's queries. Gautam asked Lord Mahavira, what is the nature of soul? And Lord Mahavira answered, the nature of soul is equanimity. 
Gautam again asked, What is the ultimate end of soul? And Lord Mahavira replied, The ultimate end of soul is also equanimity. And he realized simplicity as the prerequisite of equanimity. Now with complexity gone, disturbance was gone. With renewed peace of mind, Muniji retained his disposition of simplicity, meditated on the equanimity nature of soul, and made great purification progress. Imagination, the faculty or action of forming new ideas or images or concepts of objects not presented to the senses, the ability of the mind to be creative and resourceful. Muniji teacher has finished his PowerPoint presentation. He pauses and now looking directly at the camera, addresses the viewer. Muniji teacher's script notes indicate he will be presenting logical inferences requiring viewer imagination. From a general standpoint, simplicity is a broad, gentle experience and understanding. From an abstract philosophical standpoint of deliberate attainment, simplicity becomes structured. Simplicity becomes a discipline. Discipline channels and directs soul's striving toward the specific attainment of simplicity. Simplicity allows a focused endeavor toward soul purification. Complexity is the antithesis of simplicity. Complexity disperses energy, disrupts and agitates equanimity. Simplicity permits maximum energy to be centered on a single entity, soul. Simplicity allows the soul you to reveal itself. Jain religion prescribes discipline in the form of twelve-fold restraints of a householder, gradually leading to the attainment of simplicity in an adherent's life. Such discipline is necessary to advance to the prerequisite for liberation, diksha. Hey, Bhagawan! Muniji teacher is contemporary. He has read Professor Jaini's book. The restraints are outlined in the Jaina Path of Purification, pages 169 to 178. In his book, Professor Jaini provides a famous story of a very wealthy man named Anand whose prosperity involved great complexity. In addition to his vast holdings and large, well-established family responsibilities, he was consulted by numerous kings and merchants with regard to every sort of business. Anand renounced his vast wealth and societal involvements, undertook the Jain twelve-fold restraints of a householder leading to a life of religious simplicity, resulting eventually to the attainment of liberation. Discipline Motivator Discipline Self-control, self-discipline, controlled behavior, self-restraint. The clarification of our discipline standpoint lists synonyms which require an exertion of personal energy, 
self-control, self-discipline, controlled behavior, self-restraint. Such energy exertion requires an impetus, something that would be motivating and persist. What would such a motivator be? Risk avoidance. Risk as a noun. Risk as a verb. The explanation of the meaning of risk is complex. From this complexity, we simplify and clarify our standpoint. Risk is a situation involving exposure to danger resulting in personal loss of something of value. Opportunity, a set of circumstances that makes it possible to do something. A chance for success or advancement occurs. The something of value from a Jane standpoint, is the opportunity to act in such a way as to bring about and experience a pleasant event. The opportunity to bring about and experience the effect of progress in the purification and liberation of soul. Why would purification and liberation of the soul be of personal value? How can an aspirant relate to and find value in the soul purification process? What would motivate a commitment to what is valued? From a particular standpoint, value is recognized in the example of the supreme attainment of Lord Mahavira. While language is limited in the ability to express Lord Mahavira's attainment, the word in English which somewhat expresses is divine. And the knowledge from Lord Mahavira recorded in the scriptures is clear and succinct. The divine I have attained you can attain also. Recognize and attain the divinity of your pure soul. And what is recognized and attained? The scriptures state unlimited consciousness, unlimited happiness, and unlimited energy. The attainment of such experience requires a most personal value, time. Danger. Complexity is the thief we invite into our life that robs us of a most valued possession, time. Scripture knowledge indicates the value of the opportunity of time in the human life form. Time the soul can access and utilize the human body. It is only by way of human life form that the experience of soul purification and liberation attainment can occur. Just prior to his soul liberation, Lord Mahavira cautioned Gautam regarding the loss of the opportunity of time in the human life form. As a dewdrop clinging to the top of a blade of thin kush grass lasts but a short time, even so the life of men. You have crossed the great ocean. Why do you halt so near the shore? Make haste to attain the other side. 
The present-day disciplines of business and finance recognize the value of simplicity for successful transaction outcomes and issue the succinct guiding principle. Minimize risk exposure. Lord Mahavira's words provides the guidance. Going through the same religious practices as perfected saints. Hey Bhagawan, Muniji teacher has again used Professor Jaini's The Jaina Path of Purification as a resource for Lord Mahavira's cautioning words. Scriptures emphasize recognizing the divinity of one's soul is a rare and valuable insight. The fact that you are viewing this video means your soul is purified to the extent that it is striving for this knowledge, striving for knowledge that will enable soul to know its pure divine nature. Make haste to attain the other side. Gotam, be careful all the while. And Lord Mahavira's caution applies to you. Make haste to attain the other side. Aspirant, be careful all the while. Uttam, Sanskrit, meaning supreme most excellent, highest. Uttam is the term for a concept common in Jain scriptures. The requisite attainment for liberation is Uttam, supreme adherence to simplicity. Jain Munis exemplify Uttam simplicity. Here is an example of Jain Uttam Simplicity Attainment. This is a Jain Muni Ji. The name of Muni Ji is Shanti Sagar. Shanti means peace, Sagar means ocean, ocean of peace. He was an Acharya. Note the simplicity of his only possessions, Pinchi and Kamandalu. Shanti Sagar is the model of the Uttam simplicity toward which Jain laity adherents strive. As simplicity is the prerequisite for equanimity, and equanimity is a prerequisite for the attainment of soul liberation. Simplicity is a prerequisite toward which soul is striving. Soul is striving toward simplicity. Shanti Sagar Ji exemplifies supreme happiness the subtle experience of happiness found in fulfillment and contentment. When you experience the gentle touch of soul fulfillment, there is no other worldly substitute. For verification of the truth of the effect of supreme simplicity, view the picture of Shanti Sagarji. Meditate on the relaxed peacefulness of his body. Now meditate on his face. Meditate on the eyes. Sense the power that radiates there. Sense the intuition that arises within you, recognizing the power of soul resides therein. Now 
That's enough for now. Let us conclude this presentation with a meditation on you, the soul you, as an ocean of peace. Gently close your eyes. Visualize the vast expanse of an ocean. Now fill that ocean with peace. Feel the ocean expanse of peace and equanimity. Feel the simplicity of the union of ocean and peace. Now personalize the union. Ocean of peace is you, the soul you. Experience your ocean of peace nature. This is the attainment for which you strive. Assist soul in its striving for liberation by maintaining equanimity. Maintain a discipline of simplicity for equanimity success. Dharm Lab, may your pure soul nature continue to increase.